Today we're going to be talking about the most goaded squad member in Squad Busters, and that is the Traitor. And it's funny because the Traitor was my least favorite squad member to use initially, but after I got him to his third tier rank and he started to give me three gems, he became OP and I realized that he is so good, especially in the end game of Squad Busters. So you're really going to want to watch this because I think this will help you get a lot more wins in your games because I've got a ton of more wins in my game. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to show a couple of my games where I've used the Trader and just had awesome wins. Like the Trader has helped me win so often and the reason is it's because you don't have to necessarily fight other squad members and so maybe some people won't like that because they like to fight but I found that like trying to fight in squad busters I lose more than I win and it's really frustrating so if you guys are better at winning please comment and tell me how to get good because I need to get good in this but I really like the trader because you can stay on the outside and get so many gems like you can see here that I'm in first place for the majority of the match and I don't really do anything other than just stay in the little area that I spawned in and yeah we just get so many gems from it what I've done is I have Greg and Greg's the best as we all know because he chops down the trees we get lots of coins we get lots of gems but that's such a good combo with the trader because we get so 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 many gems from all of the coins that is given what's so good about the trader is that he is amazing at the end game. In the end game of Squad Busters, like the last minute, all enemies, all trees, all items, they give like double the coins or something. I actually don't know how many, but they give a ton of coins. So if you have several traders in your squad, they will give out so many gems because you're getting so many coins. So like you'll just see here as we beat this boss, it drops a massive amount of coins and then the gems just keep coming and it's awesome. So we already have 330. We'll get this tree which is going to put out a ton more gems. Oh, not yet. I thought we would get some more. Now we go down here and then we'll get more. Yeah, just like that. When we cut down this tree, get all of these coins, we get so many gems. This was definitely one of my best games. Like, I typically don't get uh, this amount of gems that we got here. Like, 400 these amount of gems like we got yeah we got 462 that is awesome that was a huge game moving on to my second game this was a double mode that had double treble in pinata which was perfect because with my traders i was able to get two at uh two at a time and we're able to get a ton of coins from the pinatas and so here we get more traders which gives us four it's insane so we're getting like i got so many traders in this mode and i was getting so many gems from collecting all the coins but one thing i really want to emphasize with the trader is he is really good at fighting monsters cutting down trees like getting coins that way but not for pvp the Trader is like the weakest squad member out of all of them, I think. Maybe other than the Medic, but at least the Medic kills your guys, right? And so, the Trader, if you're really relying on him, just don't do PvP. Um, save up your turbo so you can always run away and just rely on fighting all of the monsters and all of the things around you. So this mode was perfect because we have all of these pinatas that are giving us so many coins. And so again, end game, there are so many coins that are dropped and so you get so many gems. So again, like we have 368. Now we get a ton more. See, that brought us from 68 to 390 because of all of the traders that I have. It's insane. So we got a ton, a ton of ton of gems again, but I wanted to show you guys this mode or this match. I wanted to, I don't know, I got cocky and I went to fight in the PvP and it didn't work out for me. Look, I have like 474 gems and I lost it all. It brought me all the way down to 390 because I tried to fight the PvP. So we had 470 brought down to 390, but again, a huge game with the trader. And here I just wanted to show one final match. I have 128 gems. Look and see how many gems I have by the end of this last minute in this match. It's crazy. Again, it just shows how the trader gives you so many gems in endgame. He is like literally goaded for the endgame. Basically, I'm doing the exact same thing. Staying away from other players. Just taking care of all of the monsters that are around me. All of the trees. 
so I get lots of coins. Here's a little, I don't know if this is a pro tip, I don't think it's a pro tip, but if you have a bomb, you can drop it on plants and trees in case you don't have a Mavis or a Greg, and so you can get coins and gems that way. And so again, we had 128 gems to begin with, and now by the end of this minute, we end up with, let's see, yeah, we end up with 325. So we more than doubled the amount of gems we had in the last minute. And that's why the trader is so freaking goaded. So if you like this, please like and subscribe. We're going to come out with content just like this weekly for Squad Busters and for Brawl Stars. I would love to have you guys join me on this journey. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.